Assalamu alaikum dear student how are you all i hope you are all well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to niebs home school i am nasima akhtar assistant teacher of science national ideal english version school morning shift today i am going to take an elementary science class for class 3 student dear student today this is your first uh, science class of annual term so let's start today's class today our topic is food this is chapter food so we will discuss uh, uh, today's this chapter and i um, have divided this chapter into two part today i will discuss about part 1 and uh, uh, i will discuss another part in our next class we eat different fruits these come from different sources beef chicken fish and egg are foods from animals ghee butter and milk also come from animals we eat rice potato bread and vegetables as food bread is made from flour flour is made from wheat these foods come from plants we also get fruits such as jackfruit mango berry banana and orange from plants we get the necessary energy from food food helps in our growth and provide energy for work man and animal need food for nutrient substance that living thing need in order to survive and grow is called nutrient we get it from food nutrient what is nutrient our food contains various kinds of nutrients proteins carbohydrates and fat are the major food nutrients vitamins and minerals are minor nutrients these elements are absorbed in the body from food now we will learn about protein what is protein protein builds up our body protein is needed to build repair and maintain muscle and blood meat fish eggs pulses and beans contain plenty of protein you can see here is a picture here is a fish meat egg and beans these all are protein contained foods now two number point is carbohydrates carbohydrates are richly contained in the grain groups rice wheat and maize carbohydrates provide energy for doing work here is a picture you can see here is some food rice bread here is potato these all are carbohydrate content foods now three number is fat fat provides energy and keeps our bodies warm fat also makes our body fat is mainly contained in dairy products such as ghee butter curds etc fat is also contained in oil which comes from plants such as soya bean mustard and coconut you can see here is a picture here is butter ghee coconut oil soya bean oil these all are fat contained foods number 4 vitamins and minerals vitamins and minerals help our body to work properly and stay healthy vitamins and minerals protect us from diseases they are richly contained in fruits and vegetables you can see here is a picture here is some vegetables and fruits these all are vitamin and mineral rich foods water water is not a nutrient but adequate safe water is needed for digestion and absorption of food in our body 
Now, balanced diet. We will know about balanced diet. We may become sick if we do not eat different kinds of food in proper amount. The food containing all the essentials for our body in the required quantity is called a balanced diet. The balanced diet is prepared by mixing various types of food, protein, carbohydrate, fat, vitamin and mineral should be present as per requirement. A well balanced diet is very important for us. It keeps us healthy and strong. The body grows well and the risk of diseases become less. We get proper nutrition by eating a variety of foods. There is no single food which contains all kinds of nutrition. We can still be unhealthy if we do not eat the right kind of different foods we need. So we have to eat every day some portion of carbohydrate, some portion of protein, some portion of vitamin minerals and some portion of fat and oil. Okay. Next is a reasonable balanced diet. Many people believe that costly food have greater nutritional value, but it is not true. All foods contain nutrition regardless of the price. Through the source and price of food are different, the nutritional value may remain almost the same. There is no difference in nutritional value between local and foreign food. The characteristics of nutritional elements are also the same. The important thing is to select the right kind of food considering our age, the work that we do and how fast we are growing. So dear student, now we will do some fill in the blanks from this portion. One number filling the blanks is we need dash for surviving and growing. We need food. Answer will be food for surviving and growing. Two number is vegetables are rich in dash and dash. Vegetables are rich in vitamins and minerals. Three number is the major nutrients in our food are dash, dash and dash. It will be proteins, carbohydrates and fat. Now four number is dash diet provides all sort of nutrients. Balanced diet provides all sort of nutrients. So that's it. Here is for filling the blanks. Dear student, your SW will be filling the blanks. That means these four filling the blanks you have to do in your SW copy. Dear student, this SW is very important for you because you will get mark based on your SW performance and this mark will add to with your annual exam marks. So this is very important for you, remember that. So dear student, I hope you have understood today's topic, practice at home and stay safe, stay home, see you again in our next class, thank you.